Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Crash Storyo 2. So, we are going to continue our endeavor to get over to the first space exploration parts. Uh, we do need to make still a build of LDS, and we do need to make a build of solar panels, of accumulators, and radars, so that we can make the navigation satellites. Um, and once we have all of that, we also still need to make the rocket control units, and then we have everything. So today, we are going to be working on some low-density structures. Now, because the way we have set up our belts, the low-density structure build should be at the very end of the copper line. Because the low-density structure build is going to eat the whole belt. Like, whatever comes down this belt, it's going to eat everything. Because low-density structures eat a lot of copper. We need 10 pieces of copper for one low density structure and we're probably going to make this at a rate of at least one LDS per second, maybe two, uh, which means we will be eating 10 to 20 plates of copper per second. And a yellow belt over here holds 15 ounces per second, so we're definitely going to consume that. Um, and of course, the faster we go, the more we need. Now, um, here we go. We need... Yeah, if we have 10 of these machines, we make 1 per second. Technically, we make 0 0.75 per second, which would also mean that we need 7.5 copper per second. So 20 of these machines over here are actually going to consume a full yellow belt. And for once, we're actually going to assume that the, the, assume the correct crafting speed for these machines. Usually, I just assume that these have a crafting speed of 1. Um, not because... Uh, just because I'm lazy. <laughs> just because I'm lazy. Um, we can get the craft speed of one over there if we add the speed module or two, uh, and then it will be fine. But for example, in this build, this is a very good example over here. We did calculate over here everything that they have a craft speed of one, but the software machine over here definitely has a faster craft speed than these machines, so it's kind of stuck all the time. And of course, the stone furnaces over here are also kind of stuck every now and then. Good. Uh, where are these accumulators? Um, I don't see them yet. Wait a minute. Uh, we definitely also do... Well, this is for later. This is one if we want to do the science. But we want to do these things first. And we still need... There they are. Oh, I just didn't see them. Accumulators, please. In the meantime, um, sure. 10 of these eat half a yellow... Uh, half a copper belt. 20 of these eat a full copper belt. Um, we could do something like this. We also are going to need um, a bit of steel. And the same amount of plastic. So, how about we do something like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, maximum distance over here. Uh, we can, they can share the copper belt going down the middle. Um, then we could just make a steel belt that goes up and downy. That is fine. Or maybe use this as the output. Now, nah, let's use this for the steel belt. Up, down, steel belt. That is fine. Um, then we do need an output somewhere. Hmm. We could... Oh, I know a stupid way of doing this. Ah, how, is this how stupid is that going to be? Very. Hmm. I'm a little bit on the fence of how we could do it. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that was very close. <laughs> Everything that's like in the range of 200 uh, or below, uh, or plus minus 200, that is usually in range of base. So I'm always a little bit concerned about that. Uh, plastic over here, plastic over there. Mm, actually, if we don't use this over there, and over this over there. Yeah, you know what? Do it like this. It'll be fine. This will be the output belt. And we just wrap around the output belt as well. Good. So that is going to be how we're going to do this build. Let's pick this up real quick. And let's find a nice spot for it. Also, we should ghost a little bit more. Um, so we're going to have an output belt that goes like this. An input belt over there. An input belt over here. An input of a belt that goes like this. Uh, an input belt over there, and then an output belt that goes like this. And this one over there uh, is going to be... Let's place it down real quick. You're going to be a near-end one. There we go. Good. And then let's just complete this. There we go, there we go, there we go. And that's our thingamajig. Let's double it down. Because then we can add the power poles, because the power poles over here will... Match up really, really nice. Uh, we're also going to put in a lamp or two. There we go. And then with this, we can just stack and stack and stack and stack. So this is six. I think this is 20. 
that is 20. So this will consume a full yellow belt of plastic and a full yellow belt of copper. I do see... Uh, yeah, we're going to fix it later on. Um, and you know what? Here's fine. Here is perfectly fine. We're going to build this thing here. So this thing goes up, goes over, goes down. There we go. Uh, these over here... Ah, it, it eats a full plastic belt. So we can do the same for the plastic over here. And then it will end right over there. Um, the steel belt goes like this. And then... You're the full output. The question is, where do we send our stuff? Let's just send it up for now. Let's just keep sending it up. Uh, rocket control units, resume that one, please. And then we're going to place you over there. Good. I got the things I want to make. So let's start placing it down. Um, we get some machines. We get some more machines. Then let's get the power poles in. I think, uh, can we pocket across some lamps? No, because we're out of copper and out of iron. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't have anything for that. Um, but we can fix that later on. We do want some lamps in here because it's kind of dark. Uh, and dark and scary is always, well, dark and scary. Else it wouldn't be dark and scary. Good. Uh, let's place all of these. I do miss bots. Um, the bots we're going to do after we've done the space exploration part, or at least the first rockets. Uh, I think that's when that's a good time where we should start thinking about doing some bots. But for now, I kind of want to focus on getting uh, things like satellites up and running so that we can just move along with that and we have some action with that. And we can actually do some space exploring because, well, the name of the game is Space Exploration. And you know what? Space Exploration is a lot of fun. I'm also curious to see if um, the map will be different than last time, if there's a bit of randomness to it. Uh, to see if we can find Elysium again and stuff like that, or if it's going to be completely different and completely randomly generated. Um, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Also, I'm looking forward to see what's in orbit, um, since in orbit there are some goodies. Um, from the patch notes, you will also see that there are some goodies that you can find um, on the first asteroid belt. It seems there's also something hidden over there. So also looking forward to that. Good. Uh, we do still have to make um, a dedicated plastic build for this, but that is fine. We can do that. Also, I just noticed this is a copper input. That's not even the output. The output is over here. So, here we go. <laughs> smart, 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 smart. Uh, yeah, the output is actually over there. Done. Um, and then this over here is the steel belt. The steel belt goes around like this. And then in the middle, we've got the copper belt. And that will be our build. Also, let's pick up this. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, we do have plastic production down here somewhere. Um, and it does go into here. Does this make a full yellow belt? Uh, let's have a look at the recipe real quick. So we make over here 2 per second, 2, 4, 6, 8 per second. That is not a full yellow belt. So we have to double it down. No problem. We can do that. Done. <laughs> Good, good, good. The coal belt over here needs to go differently. There we go. It goes like this. Uh, I'll just pick this one up. And use it somewhere else. Good. Then this is required. That's required. This is required. That's required. This is required. That's required. Good, good, good. Um, by the way, the episode for today might come out a little late. Um, I'm already telling sorry for that. Uh, the main reason for that is... Uh, well, work is crazy again. Well, work, work, work never stopped being crazy. <laughs> so, um, we were debugging quite some, well, not some serious issues, uh, some, some issues how we would expect them. Um, but yeah, things, things are definitely, the workload is high. Let's put it like that. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, even if the episode comes out late, it does not mean it doesn't come out at all. Uh, and better late than not at all, in my opinion. Good. This increases plastic production. We got the plastic belt coming over the air. We're just going to tap into the plastic belt, which is actually doing a loop over here. So, yay. By the way, uh, maybe somebody already complained about it or not, but I did move the stone belt. I took the splitter out and I just went with it. Single belt going all the way, going up, going down, and going back in. We're keeping the single belt system. Like splitters, I don't really want to see as many splitters as we need to. Uh, sometimes we do need them, um, but I prefer not to use splitters if I can prevent it. So we're definitely going with like uh, least number of splitters possible run.
Not none at all, because none at all will not be possible. Uh, well, will be possible, but would be super duper annoying. <laughs> and I'm more or less only here to have fun, not to absolutely torture myself. That's where Piano Notes comes in, uh, which I do hope that they finish up the development of the current mod pack soon, because we are definitely going back for that. Pi will be back at some point in time. Uh, it full glory. There we go. Uh, we do need some copper. We do need some iron. There is some iron over here. There is some copper over there. And we need that to make some lamps. I'll just pocket craft these. Uh, I don't care about that right now. Speaking of copper, the copper belt is over here. The copper belt also needs to go over there. Mm hmm. Do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. Do this. Maybe move the copper belt the right way around. Move you up a bit. There we go. Here comes the copper. Copper goes in via there. Then steel. Steel belt is over here. Uh, where does it stop? Steel belt stops over there. We need to be over there. So pretty much straightforward. We go like this. We go like that. And then... There we go. Just a placeholder real quick. And off we go. Good, good, good. And then... I think that's everything. With the exception of the lamps, but that's everything. Um, so we can get this thing up and rolling right now. There we go. There we go. We did already improve copper production, but I think we have to improve it again. Um, but either way, this is going to consume everything. We're only waiting on the steel to come. Here it is. And off we go. We are making some LDS over here. Perfect. That's three or four parts down for the rockets. Uh, as for the satellites, we do need to make things like solar panels and things like accumulators. Um, the solar panels need green circuits, glass, silicon, and steel. We have everything over here. Uh, and the accumulators need iron and batteries. Let's maybe start off with the... Now the question is, where do we place the accumulator build? The accumulator build actually doesn't need to be that big. But I guess we could just make it down here. Uh, worst case or best case scenario, if we really want to make satellites back to back to back, we will never do that. <laughs> we will never do that. We're making LDS at the speed of one per second. Um, so we will take 50 seconds to make this, the requirements in LDS for this recipe. Um, so we need to make 10 accumulators in 50 seconds. So we need to make accumulators at the rate of... Um, yeah, one every five seconds. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, one every five. We need two machines to make accumulators, and we need two machines to make solar panels. That's it. <laughs> We're going to make that over here. Um, so, it's going to be something like this. And then, one, two, three, four, five. That's a little bit much, isn't it? No, it's fine. Yeah. Um, good. <coughs> Sorry about that. Something in my throat, I think. One, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. Uh, we're going to do it like this because then we can... Uh, this will be a mixed belt. This will be, I think, one of the rare occasions where we actually do have a mixed belt. Because the only reason for us to make the stuff over here is to send it over to where we make the satellites. Uh, we might even put some in chests. If we do so, then we'll think of something. Uh, but the priority should be for this to be going into the satellite build. And that means we need steel, silica. Okay, they, they have completely different requirements. Uh, the batteries are over here. Uh, currently going out over there. Well, back you go. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Oh, God. Um, it will work if we move you down by one and you up by one. And then we can move you down, you up, and there we go. And then the same thing over here. You down by one, you down by one, you up by one. Out you go. Done. Uh, just move it like this. That's fine. And then batteries and batteries. And then we've got an iron belt over here. Um, uh, we'll be right back with this one. There we go. Um, yeah, let's make it super, super, super disgusting. I'm out of belt, but you can't really see how this is going to go. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, not quite sure what I have right there, but I hope it will be fine. There we go. Mm. Okay, let's pick up some belts. That will be the iron belt. 
for um, our um, accumulators. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We got belt over here. Just pick up some. Pick up some more. That'll be fine. Uh, underground, so let's pick up a stack. And while we're here, let's pick up a couple of these. There we go. Put those back. And a couple of these. There we go. Put those back. And there we go. Just keep that rolling, please. Good, good, good. And that's for the accumulators. Steel. Hey, look what I found over here. Uh, let's put the steel belt in over there. Uh, we do want to keep this at least somehow nice. We do need the steel belt back over there. Mm, well, there we go. Uh, do we know? We could just... That's going to be super duper disgusting. Uh, we could just do something like this. You go over there. There we go. Done. <laughs> Silicon, glass, and green circuits. Green circuits over here. Um, they are not required for this build over here. So we could just move the whole belt. There we go. Just go over here. There we go. And then we go there. We go here. And then just pass this thing. Good, good, good. And then we go back over here. And then we go all the way over there. And back in. And perfect. Here we go. Don't need these. Be gone. There's green circuits done. Silicon and glass. Um, silicon. Silicon. Silicon is down there somewhere. Glass. Um, I think this is the glass belt. That is a glass belt. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. You go this way. We'll be right back with this one. Oh, damn. We need to move. Hmm. If we... Yeah, let's put an underground on here. And then we go up from here. Then we move one over. There we go. And then in, in. And then we move back. And then we go back over there. Um, Question is how we do that. Mm. There we go. We made some space over here with the green belt. So... Thank you, old green belt. So let's move these down by one. There we go. And then we go down. And we go in. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I like this. I really like this. And then the only thing we need is the silicon. Uh, the silicon, I think, is all the way down here somewhere. Do we even have silicon that we can uh, put on the belt? Because I'm pretty sure... No, no, we do, we do, we do. Uh, it's all the way down here. I know a very stupid thing we could do, because this all the way goes down. Uh, well, stupid thing ahoy. Uh, we go this way. And then we need to find a way back over here. Mm, I think with some red belt, we can get under this. Yep, we can. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. <laughs> Off we go. Uh, maybe, maybe place it over here. This, this will be probably a little bit better for future planning. Good, good, good. Uh, we also need to go back with this thing. Oh God. <laughs> Let's shorten the path over there. There we go. Uh, further up we go. Let's expand this over here. You go like this, and then you go like that. Uh, we go this way for Max Spaghetti. You go up by one. There we go. We have arrived. Uh, let's hook it up for now. So that we have everything in reach. Uh, you and you. So that the production over here can start. And then we'll figure out how we get back. Um, there we go. You over there. You over there. And you over there. Connect it up to a power pole. There we go. Uh, and then put in a lamp over here. A lamp over there, a lamp over here, and a lamp over there. Um, maybe also extend this. You're missing silicon and steel. Yes, because I never, ever, ever put in this one or that one. There we go. That's working. Uh, you're missing iron because I never put in these. That's working. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we have to send the silicon back home. So we go this way. We just go this way. There we go. That is 
the rocket parts done uh, or the, the rocket control units done. Perfect. And then we go this way, we go this way, and <laughs> we go back down. Perfect. Ah, single belt system. I love it. Oh, pick up this one. Um, and then we just need to connect them over here. Done. Oh, wait, almost done. Done. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent, which also means we can now start building this big thing over here. Let's have a quick peek at the LDS machine. How much LDS have you made? 622. That's not a lot, but that'll be fine. We can also see that the copper belt over here is not really that full anymore. That's also fine. Uh, resources will flow. We might need to start thinking about tapping some more foreign or out there um, copper parts. Once we start doing that, we should probably start thinking about how to make trains and stuff like that. Uh, that's a whole bunch of steel, a whole bunch of iron, a whole a whole bunch of steel. Uh, but that will be fine. Uh, and outposting is not that big of an issue. We just have to be careful that we do not run out of... Yeah, we should probably do that sooner than later. <laughs> Maybe before we send off the rockets, we might want to send up at least everything we have for... Uh, trains. Then again, ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. So LDS is in. Um, those things are in. We do need to automate radars as well. Um, what do we need for radar automation? That is small electric motors, automation cores, stone bricks, and steel. Steel, really? We need steel for radars? Wow. I was not expecting that. Uh, automation cores. Aren't they over there somewhere? Yeah, there they are. They stop over there. Uh, electric motors. They're going over there. So, and how fast do we make these? Instant. <laughs> we make them instantaneously. So, let's make some radars over here. It'll be fine. Mm. I'm just going to do something like this real quick. There we go. Minimal invasive. Uh, we don't need circuits for this, but we do need bricks and we do need steel. Uh, is that steel? That is steel. Ooh. There we go. Done, done, done. Uh, we don't need circuits. Um, I always think we need circuits for these. And then the automation cores. These are over here somewhere. There they are. Uh, we're just going to run our magic. Yeah, extend no this. Extend no that. Hmm. Do this, do that. There we go. Move over here. Uh, there is brick and coal over here. Wait, no, there's only there's only coal over there. Um, that the, that brick over there is well, no, not quite sure where uh, that's over there. Not quite sure where it came from. Um, sure. Here we go. Here we go. And that's in, and then we only need stone brick. Uh, we have stone brick over there. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, it's all the way... Well, open our hands. I see exactly how this thing is going to go. Here we go. This way, that way. Move, 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 move. Uh, I've, what the hell? Oh, there's a... Yeah. Didn't even see that. Uh, we probably want to pick up some yellow belts. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, underground it over there. There we go. And then... <laughs> we only need to be down there. Um, I think for once, I'm just going to use the red belt over here. Because then we can do this jump. And there we go. <laughs> that is radars automated. Um... No, we, we're just going to put it on a half belt <laughs> for now. <laughs> I love how stupid this is. Perfect. Um, yep, that's Raiders done. Um, good, 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 good. Uh, we still got some time. Mm, we could maybe try to set up the rocket control units as well. Um, can we maybe already make the big, big navigation satellite thingy? No, we're still researching that. Never mind. We're still researching that. Uh, that's far away. That's good. Um, so, what do we need? What do we need? Um, rocket control units. Batteries, red circuits, glass, and iron. 
Uh, red circuits, glass, batteries, and iron? Wait, what? Really? We got everything over here. Um, how many of these do we need? We make like one every 30. Oh god, that's like forever. Um, if we want to make it at the same rate as we make not everything else, keep in mind we're making one rocket fuel per second, so we need to make this at a rate of 0 0.3 rocket control units per second. That's the maximum speed we need right now. Um, so if we put down like 10 of these, we make it at a rate of 0 0.3 per second. You know what? 10 of these is fine. Let's put down 10 of these. Uh, I do need some more assembly machines. Oh, there we go. That should be fine. So let's put one down over there. Let's put one down over there. Um, you are going to make this thing. Batteries, all of that. That's just an input. And we got a centralized output. So we're going to have a centralized output, an input over here, an input over there, an input over here. We need one more input. Mm -hmm. We could put another input over there. Uh, and then we can do the inputs like this. Um, you over there, you over there, and you over there, as well as you over there, and you over there. And this one over there just goes like this. Uh, if we want to save on some materials, we can do it even better. Remove this, remove that, remove this, remove that. Place you over there, place you over there. Uh, and then we do something like this, that, this, that, this. Um, and then we save a little bit on underground belt. Sure. This seems absolutely fine. And then flip this one, place it over there. Uh, we do need a belt over there. And that's what we are going to be working with. So pick this whole thing up. Let's find the place for it. Uh, I think we're going to go with 12 of these because of the way uh, the pattern is. But you know what? 12 of these is fine. One, two, three. That's 12 of these. That's what we're going to go with. So I do need like two more of these. There we go. Good. And then it's just your basic game of placing down everything again and getting it done. But if I look at the clock, I can already see that uh, we are running out of time over here. So, um, what did we do today? We did pretty much everything we need, the final parts to get um, rocket parts in, navigation satellites in, uh, and so that we can start shooting navigation satellites into orbit. So next time around, this thing over here will be built and hooked up so you can see that going. And next time around, we're going to have some fun with the navigation satellites um, to get that thing around into orbit. Uh, off camera, I might just do the train setup real quick, just make trains somewhere so that we are prepared to make trains because the sooner we make that, trains do eat quite a lot of steel especially the train track, but we do need trains if we want to reach these faraway outposts, especially this 7 million iron ore field over there, or this 2.7 million copper ore field over there, which we do need because, well, iron is definitely, definitely running out. So, if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this YouTube channel into something bloody amazing, and I just love watching this channel grow. Every time I log into this one, uh, I just look at the numbers and it just always keep going up and I just absolutely enjoy that. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening and until next time, see you around. Also, I kind of forgot, twitch.tv slash I'm over there as well. Good night.